Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're going to talk about FreeDAS. And FreeDAS is an interesting, interesting project. I've been always trying to like try it <laughs> and see how it works, but I was always thinking about, well, there's a DAS box, there's this solution and that solution, and basically I don't need it. But at the same time, FreeDAS is like environment, like real full-fledged environment for running your DOS applications. And it has utilities, games, bunch of uh, other applications and if you look at the website actually if you look at the freedas website it has the live cd which allows you to run it like uh, live or install new hardware or hypervisor or there is also bonus cd available with a bunch of utilities and even the ui like actual graphical ui to try and it's actually quite interesting comparing to dustbox dustbox is a great project it allows you basically to run anything any dos applications on your mac linux or windows platform or Android even, but FreeDAS is is actually like full environment, which, which is why I want to try it on my machine. Initially, I wanted to try it on my M1 Mac, but I ran into some problems and I was not even able to start it up. So yes, it's, it's possible to try using UTM, a UTM hypervisor on M1 Mac, but it's, it was not working for me. It's for some reason it was not even booting, so that's why I decided to fall back to my initial solution, which is my ThinkPad with my VirtualBox hypervisor right here. That's why what I did is basically downloaded this package from the freedos.org download website and downloaded this one, this live CD. So let's go ahead and try it out. So in my VirtualBox, I'm gonna press new. Actually, I'm gonna just type freedos. Okay, freedos and it automatically detects it's a DOS. So, which is great. I'm gonna press next. Uh, 32 megabytes is more than enough for DOS. It's really actually a lot. So let's go ahead and click next. The recommended size of the hard drive on the hypervisor is uh, 500 max, which I feel like is not enough. So that's why we're gonna select and uh, we're gonna pick more. Let's pick more. A hard drive file type, I typically pick VMDK because it's compatible with uh, VMware. That's why I pick VMDK. So I recommend you picking up this one as well, but you can also use a v VDI, it's no problem. Dynamically allocated, yes. We're gonna pick more. We're gonna pick um, 5 GB because you're gonna install utilities, games, and everything. So that's why let's pick more. Now let's go to settings, and it basically it automatically pre-configured everything, so we don't need to worry about this stuff. We just need to select what drive we want to boot from. Yeah, and if you take a look, this one is like 400 max, which is <laughs> for DOS it's a lot, but it's a DOS with a bunch of utilities right there. So pick this one, and then. Live CD DVD now, I think I'll leave it as, as this. Okay, let's go ahead and try to start this one. Let's see. Yep, uh, how about we gonna select FreeDOS Live Environment Mode. And as you can see, just booting up perfectly fine. It has no problems like my Mac had. It's just perfectly, perfectly fine, which is awesome. We're gonna go ahead and take a look here. And guys, it's a live environment and we can try to use it, but I would recommend you to actually try and install this one. Setup. Setup. Okay, and this is like typical DOS installation. I mean, I love this. It's simple, up to the point, lovely. <laughs> okay, um, do you want to proceed? Yes. Partition drive C, yep. Partition your hard drive, should be quite quick. We're gonna press reboot now, because it's a DOS, it needs reboots for all disk operations. Let's go ahead and let's pick this environment again. I actually love this enhancement, this like, because they have all indications of the operations right here. I believe DOS was not that indicative. DOS was more like, you know, you should guess how it works, because from what I remember using it, it was just a bit confusing. But I was using it back when I was a child, so I don't know, maybe it's not that bad. Free DOS, I love it. Already. <laughs> Set up. Once again, English, continuous installation. Please erase and format this drive. So we partition the drive. It takes the whole hard drive, just one partition. And we're gonna say yes. Press OK. Okay, quick format complete. Everything's complete. Press OK. We're gonna pick uh, the English keyboard. Basically, guys, remember DOS era. We used MBR and BIOS for everything. So MBR is gonna put the boot sector on the hard drive. Yes, full installation, quick application games. Um, 
we have options here. We can install the whole system with all the stuff and we can select some like plain DOS, just basic apps. Okay, let's go ahead with uh, full installation. Okay, let's see. Lovely DOS installation, I just love it. <laughs> it even has internet utilities. It has a bunch of games. Okay, let's see how it works. I wanna see it in action, it's gonna be fun. I mean, it's also interesting to take a look at the bonus CD once I finish with this, because bonus CD should have some interesting stuff, I believe. I mean, it's been a while since I used DOS, guys. It's been a while. I was always thinking, like, I should try DOS, I should try it. But then you realize that there's not multitasking, there's this and that. Anyway, I love DOS. DOS is a big part of my childhood. Okay, please reboot now. Um, yep, reboot now. New system will reboot. And then I'm gonna select boot from hard disk. And then guys, you need to eject the optical drive. Like I'm gonna just eject it. As you can see guys, it already has some interesting structure. It has apps, free dust, games, net, pygmy, and util. How about we go to apps? Let's see what's there. Mind. Huh. Okay, as, as you can see, it even has the mouse support, which is cool. So it has everything out of box. This one looks like a text editor. Really interesting text editor. Options, all the stuff, seems fun. So DN2, it's supposed to be maybe DOS Navigator, it's like a file manager, no? DN2, okay, DN, yes, it's a DOS Navigator. This is just like my favorite app of all time, guys. DOS Navigator right here. And it's my, actually much easier to navigate once we launch it. Lovely, 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 lovely. Games. Boom, what is that? Boom. Oh, Doom actually. It says Boom, but then it says Doom. Is it? What is that? And uh, Boom. Ultimate Freedom. <laughs> well, it looks like Doom. Yeah, it is Doom actually. Okay. And then you, okay. Fun, 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 fun. Yeah, come on, yeah, lovely. <laughs> so as you can see, all the apps right here. Okay, space, yes, space. Okay, and then what? I don't know, guys, I forgot. I need to play it around, but free Doom is just like, I have not thought about this. It seems like there is a free version of Doom available, which is cool. <laughs> I need to try it out. Uh, is there like a readme file or something here? Because there should be some readme file. Transmap that. And what is that? Doom, uh, boom txt, okay. Boom, modified port and release doom source. It's It was done in 98? Oh my gosh, interesting. I was not aware. So seems like doom was open for the outside development for uh, trying out in different environments. I don't know, just interesting. Free Doom. Okay, there's a Free Doom and there's a Boom. And since everything has such a short names, it's quite confusing. But Tetris, okay, it's cool. Um, Ivan, what is that? Ivan Executable? I don't know, guys. How to exit this game? <laughs> is there a way how to exit this? Okay, I'm gonna press this. I'm gonna press Q. How to exit this game? Escape to exit. Uh, okay, yeah, maybe control C. Yeah, control C works always. <laughs> okay, uh, F mines. I guess it's a minesweeper or something. F mines executable. Okay, such a mix of everything, guys. I don't know. It's quite confusing. There's so many options. I believe it's actually loading. Uh, okay. It just took too much time, guys. I don't know why I don't have pa patience to actually <laughs> wait for that. DOS dev. Interrupt divide by zero stack. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it doesn't work. It actually got stuck, guys. <laughs> it actually got stuck. Okay, actually reset. Mm -hmm. And now we have options. Load free DOS with this. No MS, max RAM, free expanded memory. Free DOS, load with some drivers. So I believe it should have expanded memory. That's why it was so slow. I believe it was not having enough memory to run all that stuff. So let's see how it works now. 
We're gonna actually load those navigator right away. So what does it have? Utilities, new fonts, local configuration. What is that? Okay, I don't know what is this. Let's just get, I guess some configurator for the free DOS. P7 zip, okay, archivator. P7 zip, calculator. Hmm. Okay, I need to figure out how it works. This one, it's all command line tools, guys, since it's utilities. Bin. Let's take a look at some actually batch files. For example, the welcome one. Okay. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> All the batch files, like I remember, from the old era. Uh, apps. Let's see. Emacs. Okay, the text editor. Vim. At play. What is that play? Animation player. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Add plug MS DOS based front end. Porting exclusive program text mode interface provides a convenient playback experience. Okay, support formats. Okay, I have no idea. I have not tried it before. This one, yeah. Um, Elvis. What is that? Okay, I guess it's also a text editor. I'm gonna press Q to exit. Set edit bin. Okay, this is a set editor. Interesting. So this one is actually editor with the graphical interface. Well, more or less actually graphical interface. When it was developed? It was developed in until 2004. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so guys, this is a free DOS which in the basic, basic package. It has some games, it has the utilities, mostly text editors, and it has the file managers for you to conveniently explore this whole environment. So it has everything you need for the beginning. And then you can try out your favorite DOS games and utilities like from wherever you, ha you have from your childhood or whatever. I believe this is actually a good environment that comparing to DOSBox, it actually has everything in one place. And you just install it, simple installer and everything, and you use it. So it's awesome. If you have a spare computer for this, it's great. But I want to achieve running this one on my M1 Mac in the future. So I'm gonna see how it works. But for now, it's great for using on your x86 machine on the hypervisor or real hardware, as I said. So thank you for watching. Please try it out. Free DOS is awesome. In the next video, so we're gonna try the bonus CD and see what's there. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and explore this environment a bit more for because I want to see like what kind of apps it has. It's quite fun. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and bye bye.